Welcome back to the war room. You got your guns and your tomahawks? Let's go. War room, baby, yeah. It's a place for winners. Why don't schools ask about goals anymore? Isn't that important? From the point of view of the school, it's not very important. You're gonna change your mind. What do the schools want instead? They want to see a trajectory. Okay, what is a trajectory? Well, it's like a spaceship taking off into space. It's some kind of logical path from where you are to where you wanna be. And it's based on the skills and experience that you have and how you've used that or how you could use that to go into the future with your education. Let me tell you something about the steakhouse model. A steakhouse buys beef. They buy raw beef, they bring it into the steakhouse, they dress it up, they cook it, they get, put a salad next to it, some french fries, a glass of red wine, a fancy napkin and a dinner plate, and they sell it to the highest bidder. Ladies and gentlemen, you're the beef. What does it mean? It means you've gotta be the kind of beef that they want. Are you hamburger, where they're gonna turn it into the world's most expensive, luxurious $200 hamburger? Are you chuck steak? Are you a roast? Are you, are you a rib roast? Are you prime rib? <laughs> it doesn't go that far. There's, there's many more kinds of characters that you can be. But the fact is, when you dress yourself up for a school, you're doing it for them so they can see the trajectory. Therefore, when you talk about your profile, show what you know how to do and the skills that you have, how they will lead to where you're going. <music> Typical story, a guy who's worked his whole life in a bank wants to become an entrepreneur. Okay, sounds good, doesn't it? But where are the entrepreneurial points in his profile? Zero. He wants it really bad, but wanting it really bad doesn't create a trajectory. It doesn't make him fly into space. It makes him say, hmm, he wants something that's illogical. It's not gonna fit with the steakhouse model. He's not gonna get what he wants. Hey, let's let him go somewhere else. If you do have some experience in entrepreneurship and you wanna be an entrepreneur, put that as USP. That is part of your USP that you put up front and center. Oh, I have a background in entrepreneurship. I helped my uh, parents start a vegetable stand in the market. Or I had a little, I had a little film uh, crew when I was in the university. Or I started a club. Or whatever it is that you did that might look like an entrepreneurship, that kind of stuff helps build a trajectory in that direction. If you're a banker and you don't have that, it's probably not a good idea to talk about wanting to be an entrepreneur. Now you're saying, but I really want to be an entrepreneur. No problem. The fact is, your uh, trajectory doesn't really matter, as long as it fits, as long as it works. So you can talk about what works, and then when you get to the university, when you get to the school of your dreams, then you can start thinking about your real plans. And you say, isn't this kind of dishonest? Well, yes and no. You want to present the best side of yourself, but sometimes your dreams, if they're disconnected from your history, well, th those don't present the best side of yourself. They just present your dreams. And dreams don't often get into school. That's why we want something a little bit more powerful. Trajectory. Showing your motivation is not, oh, I want to go to your school, oh, your school is so wonderful. That doesn't show your motivation at all. Your motivation says, um, what are the gaps in my, in my profile that I have to fill to reach my goal? Oh, I need your school to, to learn about X, Y, and Z, which will complement the other talents that I have so I can go on to the next thing. For example, I work in, uh, I work in insurance. I know all about insurance. Uh, I want to change my career and be a banker. Well, there's some math. Uh, there's some uh, hard science back there. Uh, it says you're, you're good with quantitatives and you're good at, at analyzing things. That might make you a good banker. What do you need to go into banking? Oh, do you need some little uh, finance help? you need some assistance in finance? So you want to go to the school to learn finance and some kind of client relationship management so you can get involved in banking. For example, you want to be a CEO or a leader of some company. You want to 
go from your position now, which is an analyst position, into being the, the head of some division or the CEO of something. What are the steps along the way? Maybe CEO is a bit of an ambitious goal. Sounds good, maybe that's long term, maybe short term is to become head of the division. Plan out your steps along the way. It will look good. And that's about trajectory today. If you want to know more, well, we're going to keep talking about essays in the coming episodes. Stay tuned for more coming up. Don't forget to subscribe to Fless.